eight, seven minutes of the mice as well, so back and other things. I'll do the spray. It's just... Um, well, I explained it by not, not doing the hard side of the game. I speak to the players all the time, and that's my biggest frustration since the moment I walked in here. I've always said to them, I said, whatever you learn from me, the fact is the game lasts as long as the referee makes it last, so you have to play for every breath of the game. And, you know, when you see a side dominate so clearly, uh, make so many chances, unfortunately, that's been a challenge ever since I've been here. People taking chances, but we created a load again today. Um, and then, you know, not just do the basics. At the end of the day, such them after the game, win your headers, win your tackles, win your races, you win the game. But for whatever reason, you know, they score a goal and we're just looking at each other, everyone's staring at each other, who's going to, who's going to, you know, who's going to do that, who's going to win a challenge, who's going to win a race, who's going to win a header and waiting for someone else to do it. And you can't do that. Everyone's got to make a difference. And they did for 87 minutes. It's a very, very good performance. I was very pleased with the mixture of the play. You know, they, they played quite long, actually, just putting it forward. We dealt with that, no problem. And then... For whatever reason, after I was, after the first goal, I could smell it in the air. I thought not necessarily not you know not not winning, but I could smell it in the air. I thought this ain't right, and I'm trying to correct it. I'm screaming at them to get their shape, get the wide men tucked in, and just do the absolute ugly side of the game. Play forwards, win your headers, win your toes, win your races. I said, and we didn't, and uh, they get a win out of nowhere. You think this game a long time ago? Would you spot the hardest of beast? I've had a few down my years as a player, a coach, and a manager. Um, it's the most frustrating because to, to dominate a game for that long and play so well and then come out of it without something at least is, is incredibly frustrating. I will say that. Um, and, and, you know, they, these are, as a manager, these are the ones you, you, you scratch your head at. You know, you just, at times you, you, you're looking at it going, you know, how do you not feel that on the pitch? You know, part of learning as a footballer is when you can smell it on a pitch, um, you know, while you're active, not just the manager and the coaches, because we obviously can. And we're trying to, give some information to correct it. But, you know, we're still playing one-twos and going for, like, uh, you know, overlaps. And I'm going, why? You don't need to. You're in control of the game, complete control. Didn't need to do that. So then the pitch gets spread. They keep pushing, you know, knocking it forward and, and just crossing into the box. I mean, absolute basics of football. And they did it, and we didn't deal with it. Who takes responsibility? Everybody, it's always the manager. It's always the manager takes responsibility. You are looking for your team while they're out there to take responsibility, but... It takes character and it takes leadership and it takes people who have, you know, been around to, to smell it almost, you know, and we're trying to get it on, furiously trying to get it on, actually, to just literally go 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one and just play forwards. That's it. You said you could kind of smell it at the 2-1. Where do you think they found that they went to them the ducks to prevent anything more from them? Yeah, yeah but that, that's the hardest thing because, you know, they're active, they're out there, um, a bit of fatigue, the, the stadium changed quickly because they're going, oh, what's going on here? Um, they're, they're always the hardest things to change and correct at that you know that moment. So what have you said to players after that? Just told them exactly what I've told you. If you don't do the hard yards and you don't see the game through and you're not prepared to commit to the cause and do, give everything you can for every second, then at this level of the market, it's the Premier League. You know, teams teams work for the rights trying to try and score a goal and win a game, and they've kept going. To be fair to them, out of nowhere because they've not really. I don't think personally. We, you know, I think it's one of the more dominant performances we've had. Um, and played some very good football and, and, and deservedly should have seen the game through. But we didn't, and that's the Premier League. You've got to do everything you can to win in the Premier League. How much does that change the tone of the next ball? Change, change, change the tone, doesn't change the tone. It's a reality. You know, I don't, I don't deal in all that sort of stuff. You know, it's the absolute reality what's just happened. Um, the plan stays the same. We've got new players who are coming in. We've got to make sure the players who are just on the brink of full fitness get even fitter. But they need some downtime because some will be going away, obviously. So the, the plan stays the same from that point of view, but um, we've got to learn. There's no, there's no lack of effort. You've got to remember, there's no lack of fitness and effort. That's a lack of doing the basics. That's a lack of just, just delivering the final, the, the final moments of truth. Head it, kick it, turn them, run hard. You know, that's the absolute basics, and that's very, very frustrating um, for me to not see that um, in a team that have played so well uh, for 87 minutes. Well, Stomp, Elements, I... Yeah, yeah, I was really impressed. I've, you know, there's a few today you feel for because of their performances, but at the end of the day, he's, uh, you know, I, I felt I was monitoring these players when they're ready. I think he is, and he's delivered that today, and he's played very well. False bringing them on in that really soon, like a bit of time in winter. Yeah, he was fatigued. I mean, he, he's run hard by then, you know, and he's he, Premier League fitness, as you know, it takes. I mean, he's a very fit boy, but, you know, I thought he was fatiguing at that stage. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, that's one of them things. But he's he was he was definitely fatiguing. 
you know, we could see his recovery was getting harder because he carried the ball, and when you're carrying the ball, it, it, it is fatiguing, but I thought he did very well overall, without a doubt. Helps keep me awake in snatch of breaks, fans for fans, game for less, damn place, perhaps soon. Oh, no, they're, they're, not, they're not there yet. No, 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 they're not yet there yet. Sean, I mean, it's 10 goals, can see now in the open three games. For a side that's prized itself over the last couple of seasons on the defensive record, are you able to pinpoint why this... Well, the, the, the obvious things are mistakes. So the first two are quite obvious the way the game's changed on mistakes. You can't make them mistakes. Today was more of, like I say, it wasn't a, an individual mistake. It was just a fact of you're not doing, you know, the team things. You're not doing what the team needs to do to see a game off. Um, and like I say, it's incredibly frustrating. It's a third game we've thrown away. And that's, that's, you can't do that in the Premier League. I know that and they know that. You talk about the deal of certainty at 2-1 and at the Eaton. No, not the uncertainty. It's a feel. It's not the uncertainty. You can just sense it. I've been in the game a long time and you can you can feel it's not right. You're going, hang on a minute. You know, people, like I said, it, it, people playing one twos, you don't need to. People overlapping, you don't need to. At that stage, just keep your shape. Do the absolute basics. Eat. And um, this Shins Coleman on the pitch, James Harkowski, Jordan Pickett, a lot of experience in that. So does it surprise you that the players is No, every, everyone's got to play their part. You know, a big thing for mine is... You know, everyone's got to make a difference in a team performance. You can't just wait for someone else to make a difference. You've got to make a difference. And that, that, that spreads across a group. You know, and I thought the positivity of the performance was there and it was spread in amongst everyone, you know, during the game. And then all of a sudden, flipped too, too quickly. You know, how you go from that extremely or, or very good performance to so, it, like, lackadaisical is very, very, very hard to, to witness, that's for sure. How do you solve that mentality? Well, no, so today's different to the first two games. You know, the first two games are a big challenge. It's not, it's not been there before. Um, so we've got to make sure we remind the players of how well we do see games off and all the clean sheets from last year, 13, 14, whatever it was, and the way of defending to see games through because we've certainly done it many times before. When Evan has been good on you in the last 18 months, I kind of offensive and psychological resilience has been a big part of it. But in three games so far, this thing is in... Yeah, but the noise has changed. And they're the human beings, they know the noise has been changing, you know, so the, the different feel around it has been changing. And, we've, you know, we know the demand of our group and what we need to do. And we spoke about that, you know, spoke last season about this building, you know, the first thing I came in, we started the last day next season, obviously with all the chances, had a pretty good finish, certainly a finish, stronger season. Then we talked about building on top of that. So that's the demand from us, by the way. Not question any other demand from us. You know, I said the demand from us has to be to move forward again. We've had a few challenges with injuries and stuff like that, but that aside, you can't legislate for everything that goes on in football, and that's today is the hardest thing as a manager when you see that change so quickly over over nothing really. How, how worried are you that um, the first three games? No, I'm not worried. It's a reality. I've been here 20 months. I've seen this team. We've been questioned even before I was here about taking chances, the clinical side of things. It was there and showed it again today. You know, it could have been outside, should have been outside before they even get a sniff. Um, but you've got to take them chance, you've got to make them count. So these are correcting a longer-term theme and, and putting it right, and it's been a challenge, and it still is. OK, thanks, Bob.